uh, figure out the cardinality of a peculiar set here. And so let's just notice real quickly x equals 0. This just, if you guys aren't familiar with this, this reads all the x's that are natural numbers, that is positive integers, that, such that this entire quotient resolves to a natural number. Okay. Now you can clearly see that x equals 0 is a member of A. I'll write this membership notation here. It's a member of this set A uh, since, notice if you put 0 here, 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 and here, you end up with 626 over 1. So this is a so-called trivial case. So 626 over 1 um, is certainly a natural number, right? Uh, it's the member of the natural numbers. Again, y'all, the natural numbers are just the positive integers, not including 0. All right. So uh, are there any others, though? That's the question. That's what we're supposed to do here, folks, is determine the cardinality. This means size, okay? The absolute value bars, you can't take the absolute value of a set, really, but you can, you can use that to connote size. So that's the size of the set. And so far, we know that the set contains one element. So up to now, the size of the set is one, okay? But it turns out long division, which is often uh, useful when you have a structure like this, a quotient like this, and I didn't show any of the steps. That's the usual case for me. I don't show you. I'm embarrassed. I'd make sign errors. So, but anyway, you guys can verify that this is the... Uh, this is the quotient, and this is the remainder, okay? And, of course, this is the divisor right here. Now, notice uh, this, this is really kind of cool how this works out very nicely. This underlined part by closure, if x is a natural number, this underlined uh, part right here by closure is also a natural number. So this underlined part would also be a member of n or be a natural number, right? Okay. Now, the question is, when is this going to be a natural number? Well, it will be a natural number precisely when 6x plus 1 is equal to one of the divisors of 65. And that's very simple, right? 625 has a known number of divisors, and it's easy to find them. And so we can equate 6x plus 1 to each of those divisors and see if, if it works out to be an integer. And see if it works out nicely for x. In other words, it works out that x is a natural number. Okay, so... Now, the divisors are pretty easy here, folks. You may recall this is 5 to the 4th power. It's 5 to the 4th power. And so it's quite easy to list all the divisors of a prime number raised to the 4th power. You'll note that this is 5 squared, 5, uh, I'm sorry, this is 5 to the 1st, 5 squared, 5 cubed, and 5 to the 4th right here, of course, okay? So those are the only divisors by just the fundamental theorem. Now, of, uh, of algebra about the unique prime factorization. Now, notice we already know one of the, uh, forms we already know that zero is in there just by looking at it you know uh, at the very beginning but notice that fits the form here this would be six times uh, six times that's a dot folks six dot zero plus one right we already know the answer for that but notice the same kind of thing could not happen for five six times something plus one is never going to equal to five however right here 6 times 4 plus 1. So you see, we've now learned that 4 is an other member of that set. Okay, so plus 1. Plus 1 right here. Y'all, and also 6 times something is never equal to 125. That is, 125 is not divisible by 6. It almost is. If it was 126, it would be. All right. Now right here, the last one is 6 times 104. Okay, so... 6 times 104, 6 times 104 plus 1 uh, is equal to 625. And y'all, we know we're done right now. And so what we can do right here is literally underline 0. We already know 0 from the beginning, trivial. But now we know that 4 and 104 are other elements of that set okay so not only do we know the size but we know the elements 0 4 and uh, 104 let me write it up here 0 4 104 do we have room yeah uh, so we now know that 0 uh, let me just write like this 0 4 
in 104 is actually we can write down equality here. Okay. Uh, horrible set brackets, right, folks? But it's literally equal to A, right? And again, folks, I'm, I'm just double checking. We got zero. Yeah. Zero, four, and 104 in this form 6x plus 1, right? And they, those are the, they, they're equal to the divisor. So they, this, this part here would have to resolve to an integer in these three cases, in those, in these, yeah, three cases, this is an integer, th this part would resolve to an integer, and the whole thing would be equal to an integer, a natural number, in the case 0, 4, and 104, okay? And so the answer to the question, um, the uh, absolute value or the cardinality of this set A, we know to be 3. And that completes this demonstration, folks. Um, there we go. Hope you enjoyed.